yourself <clears throat> I wouldn't say I hurt myself I haven't gone to physical therapy for my shoulder they showed me some exercises to do and I've been kind of doing them we got the pulley thing and and you know I'm doing that I'm dancing and I'm moving my arm all around while I'm dancing but on the bike last night, I was kind of dancing while I was on the bike, but I tried something. I have not been able to put this arm behind my back at all. Well, while I was on the bike and I was stretching my arms and dancing, I tried putting this arm behind my back. Well, I was able to put it behind my back a little bit, but then I took this hand and I kind of grabbed it and pulled it a little bit. and. I don't think I should have done that because uh -oh. last night, oh, hi, because last night I was very sore and today I am extremely sore. When I'm in pain like this, I, I, I'm grumpy uh -huh. and I feel depressed and blah. Uh -huh. Well, we've had, it's been getting a little harder and harder and harder for us just about every day. We got our first phone call from a collector, so that was uh, pretty uncomfortable. We've never had that before. So uh, I figure we're going to be hearing that a lot from now on. This is a surprise. These two are actually hanging out without a problem. This one over here is not happy because she didn't get all the attention from Val. So Boomer, what's this all about? Huh? And Mojo keeps trying to uh, get closer and closer so she can push freckles off my lap. I remember when Bootsy used to try to push me off the bed. <laughs> yeah. She would get right between us and then put her Do back against you and then push on me. <laughs> my animals love me. That's right. It took about ten years for her to decide I was okay, especially since I feed her. <laughs> Red freckles. Hey guys, so once again, you know, we start getting a little bit of good news going on, and then bam, something else happens. Megan's home, she went to get gas because she was going to go to the store, and then she was going to go down to um, her friend's house. And she calls me from the gas station, and she found out somebody put sugar cubes in her gas tank. Um, she can actually see the cubes. She pulled two out, and she says she can see probably about six more actual full cubes in her gas tank. So she, luckily the gas station was real close, so she didn't get gas. Um, and then she came right back home, and her friend is now going to come pick her up. But Kevin's here now. He's going to see if he can get the sugar cubes out of the gas tank. Um, I had Kevin checked his truck to see if anybody put sugar cubes in his gas tank and um, to see if maybe it was just kids going around screwing with everybody in the neighborhood or if someone targeted Megan and... Um, it looks like someone targeted Megan. Well, where's your, your, were you in a decent parking area over the weekend? Um, well, I was at my dad's, and he lives in a really nice area. So. And at Brian's, it's a gated community at Brian's. So only people that live there really can get in. So it could be just some idiot just wandering by and just said... Well, 
looking for an open gas cap or you know unlocked gas cap mine doesn't lock so yeah so it looks like we're gonna have to buy some locks so. how can, can you buy locks for a gas oh yeah okay yeah all right so I know what I'm doing today hopefully uh, we can get this straightened out from what we read some time some people say that it can damage your car and you might as well just junk it some people said that it's not going to damage your car mythbusters even did this and they said it it they busted it it was a myth that it doesn't damage your car well i'll get the, so. as much of it out as i can well they were right in here and as kevin was trying to get them out they fell actually inside so, okay. So I tried to get to our gas tank from inside the car. It's going to be a problem. Uh, we got uh, sugar cubes in here. They, uh, since they're square, they get stuck. So hopefully we don't have anything in the tank. I'm going to, uh, once it gets underneath the car, it uh, goes to a rubber, a rubber tank. So I'm going to take this part off and uh, see how much I can get out without causing too much damage are spilling too much gasoline. All right, I have a pan underneath here, collect gasoline. I hope it's not too much in the tank. It uh, sits kind of high, so hopefully that's not going to be a problem. I've got to cut these wire ties, and then I'm going to pull that right off. Hopefully it comes off easily, but usually these things do not happen easily. Let me see a better picture of it. That's what I need to pull off. So I pulled seven sugar cubes out of the gas line. Uh, interesting thing I discovered was um, sugar does not like to dissolve in gas. So even though it's wet, it's pretty hard. So, uh, and there is a filter right at the gas tank. There was one uh, sugar cube at the entrance. It was not dissolved in any way. Pulled that out. It's all ready to go. Not really high tech, but I actually pushed all these out with a, um, a plumbing snake. And uh, I am, I have great certainty that uh, no sugar got into our tank. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and trolls of all ages. Um, gonna go run to the store now. I gotta pick up some uh, supplies for Megan's new little froggies and fishies and snails and uh, pick up some dinner for Val and I. We're feeling like we need to have a little something. We're just gonna go to El Pollo Loco for some El Pollo Loco chicken instead of mine should be pretty inexpensive. I uh, took apart Megan's uh, gas tank up to the gas tank and found we found nine cubes of sugar in her gas line. Uh, good thing is um, sh sugar doesn't really dissolve very well in uh, uh, gasoline and if they had poured powdered sugar or, or, or crystal sugar in there, then we probably would be in trouble, but since they decided to use um, sugar cubes, they just sat in the tube. And uh, there is actually uh, a, a filter just before it gets to the gas tank, which I, I checked. And there was actually a sugar cube sitting right at the edge and it was solid. So um, I'm pretty sure nothing got through, nothing was uh, dissolved. 
Uh, one thing that was in our favor, I do believe, is that um, <laughs> Megan didn't have much gas in the gas tank, so there was no gas up inside the tube leading down. And uh, so it, gas, it was never actually sitting in gasoline. So I just had to take the uh, rubber hose off, empty out all the stuff, put it back on, and it was fine. Hi, everybody. Just wanted to say thanks for hanging out with us today and hanging with Kevin while he fixed up Megan's car. He almost had diabetes. Yeah, he played doctor today to the car. All that sugar out. Yeah. And, um, hope you, <laughs> I don't remember what else we did today. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Stop it. Hope you enjoyed, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a great big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please press that little red subscribe button down below. And share this video with your family and friends because, let's face it, somebody needs to watch us. Please! Please! I'm dead!